that the chorus? But not only have I got a new haircut, I have also got new location and even a new camera so you can see my disgusting face in much crisper high definition. And hey, you tell me, what better way to celebrate all this brand spanking new stuff than actually doing a new type of video gaming video video game video. You know, I was thinking the other day that I should make a gaming top 10 list, but then it occurred to me, wow, I don't actually know how to make a top 10 list, and it has also occurred to me that I am too young and inexperienced to try such an immense task. But then I had an idea that maybe I should make a top 10 that no one has ever done before, and that avoiding a cliched list could be the perfect opportunity to demonstrate my abilities. So after that thought was processed, I made this silly video. Now obviously, a few rules must be taken into consideration, like the one game per franchise rule, and also, this list is limited to characters that I'm aware of, so if I miss any uh, more obvious or even better characters to pick, then please let me know. But then, thinking about it, who really gives a rat's ass about shopkeepers? <laughs> so anywho's, I hope you enjoy. Let's start this train, alright? Merchant in a video game refers to a character that doesn't necessarily advance the plot, but instead acts as the provider, and an enhancement to how you will advance the plot. So actually, in a sense, they do advance the plot. I guess, maybe? Oh, no, ignore me. These merchants can be described by the media theorist Vladimir Prop as the donor character, who provides the hero or heroine with essential information and tools to help complete the quest. And for one reason or another, some video games want your visit to the merchant to be as memorable as possible, so that all of your efforts collecting gold or cheap ass hoes will not go unrecognised. And oftentimes, it's actually impossible to beat the game without paying at least one visit to the merchant, making them a necessity in the video game world. I feel that they're a little bit undermined, hence why we are going to be looking at 10 of them today. So without further ado, let's start at the beginning. Number 10. Okay, okay, I really don't know anything about top 10s or anything, and these things in Bioshock aren't even merchants, but god damn it, racially insensitive ammo dispensers in a 1950s underwater city overrun by scary druggies just had to start this list off. Just listen to it! <laughs> How could you? How? What? Oh, it's, it just was. Well, 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 it's just incredible. <laughs> oh, it's, I'm a really dirty cheater. I don't know why I love them so much, and I don't know why I couldn't put an actual merchant at the top 10 in a video called The Top 10 Merchants, but this is my list, so shut up! Number nine. Okay, I'm sorry. Again, a little bit of a cheat, as he actually really isn't a merchant in real life, and he isn't exactly a video game character. Except in Guitar Hero. But he is a gopher. Sharon, 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 Sharon! Anyways, the self-proclaimed Guardian of Metal in Brutal Legend, oh well, screw it, you're just gonna be calling him Ozzy, aren't you? Was a merchant that you always just wanted to go and see, and he always seemed happy to see you too. Well, it's about fucking time! I also like his house. Not to mention that he provides a crap ton, that's a, that's a real unit of measurement, of useful and awesome looking accessories and blah 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 yada 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 fucking a He also ends up one of the most quotable characters in the game with such gems as I've got a couple of moves I can show you. Yes, take care of your car. Turn it up! You've got some demon flesh on your bumper. Anyways, you get my point, so... Yay! Another somewhat obscure choice, we have the hip-hop hero Parappa the Rapper, and the third mentor in his quest, Prince Flea Swallow. This guy is really important as you can't actually advance without finishing his ridiculously easy rap. And you really need to repair your dad's car that you foolishly busted earlier. He teaches you in the ways of selling pumps with trucks, bottle caps, and skunks? What? But I think that the best thing about him is that he's a rapping Jamaican paper cutout frog that earns a living selling dead animals. Uh, hang your head in shame, Jay-Z. Japan is on the offensive and trampling over everything you've ever done. How can you compete with you can't! You just can't compete with that! I have never sold everything, everything. Um, oh, okay, maybe you just suck. But hey, at least you've been working here since your mama was a 
baby? What? But it's okay, for somehow, this raises enough money for a brand new car. You know what? This has just given me an idea. Number seven. Okay, this is the first official merchant of the list, and his name is Pox. Genuous. Destroy All Humans delivers exactly what it promises, and the way that it plays out like a 50s B-movie was an ingenious touch, leaving many opportunities for comedy as well as over-the-top pulverising. Old Pox over here is Crypto's leader, and for some reason he also sells you shit. Oh, I don't know. Lies! I actually do! As well as being your leader, Pox is also an inventor. So whenever you do your hard work of killing people and all that jazz and then collecting brains and whatnot, he can then experiment with everything you've collected. So, I guess I've still cheated again, he isn't really a merchant, but... Oh, what the fuck? But this guy doesn't want your cold, hard cash. He wants other people's cold, hard DNA. The missions allow you plenty of time to grab the juicy stuff, and every return back to the mother base allows you to spend it all on guns. Big guns. And saucer upgrades. Saucer. Big. And collecting coins. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with you? Are you from 1943? How about smearing going guhu at all the policemen and teenagers for their brains? Not to mention, his voice is exquisite. The humans drive their carbon combustion transports in, and thence view projected images for the purpose of entertainment! He even replaces you whenever you die. Which is nice. Number six. Okay now, I don't really care too much for this game, and to be honest, I couldn't tell you anything that happened, any key characters, or hell, even the title of the damn game. But in Stairfax Temperatures, there was one particular character that stood out. This guy. Girl. He she pops up about 30 minutes into the game, and immediately you're unsettled. Look, I'll even test it on you. Welcome to my store. As weird as he-she looks, where he-she shines is in the business end of things. Yes, like all merchants, he-she sells all the things that you need at often very silly prices. But what makes he-she stand out is that... Well, we're, we're supposed to haggle. And you can haggle any price that you want. Well, not any any, that would be stupid. And excuse me, sir, but did you order the atrocious voiceover with the side dish of hilarity? Why, yes. Yes, I did. You pay this much. Every merchant in the world needs a voice like that. Yeah, I don't need business from cheapskates. Get out! Alright, don't shout! Number five. I'm sure that everybody on God's Earth knows this guy. And to be honest, I would have put him higher up on the list if he wasn't, wasn't such, such a fucking, fucking douche. douche. I mean, he's forgivable for the most part, in the later games anyway, you know, when you're buying useful things from him and he has a different kind of dialect. But in the early games, particularly 2 and 3, oh wait a minute, they're the only ones he's in, he is simply a douche. No other word! He claims to be working with the bad guys and that by disobeying them he's doing you a favour, yet whenever he's confronted by the bad guys, he is always owned. He's like that annoying douche at school that used to try and get along with the jocks and the nerds at the same time, yet actually doesn't appeal to either and acts like a douche. Plus, his prices are outrageous! So why is he so high on the list? And why was I going to put him up higher? <laughs> what am I, nuts?! Well, to be honest, despite his douche, douche factor, who doesn't remember him? Not to mention, it's impossible to finish the games without at least buying one thing off of him, no matter how much you don't want to. Also, one or two lines do make me chuckle. Hey, sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. Just seeing him there in the distance, all douchey. You can't resist paying him just a little visit and listening to an overdressed and ridiculous proposal of his. He also does try to con you. In a kiddie game. Welcome to the real world, fuckers! And maybe it's simply because he's a bear in a suit with a monocle and <laughs> it just kills me. Let's not forget the retribution in Spyro 3 as well. Getting money back never felt so damn good. Number four. 
Okay, sorry, I can hear everybody screaming right now. Hey, this man is useless. It's in one scene of the game and he does nothing. And having rain is bad because it's just one big quick time event. And goddamn shut up! I suppose the haters have got to hate, and admittedly he doesn't provide any consistent goods that you need throughout the game. But first things first, I love this game more than you can imagine. And secondly, this guy. Why so high? On the list. Eh? Because this scene... Or stage? Chapter? Oh, who cares? It perfectly paints a picture of a decent guy trying to live his regular life after the death of his son. He's polite, friendly, and willing to cooperate without breaking down into a sea of tears. He is also very stern, yet respectful, and despite rejecting to answer a few questions about his son, he still doesn't forget customer service and points our beloved, doughy Scott Shelby towards the inhalers. A few seconds pass, and another man enters. The same innocent scenario seems to take progress. But... Instead of a few questions, this guy has an order. Empty the register. This particular bit is what made him stand out so much for me, for he ungodly and courageously refuses to hand it over for a good two minutes or so, with a gun at his face. He states that he has worked very hard for his earnings, and not even a death threat in between his eyes will stop him. F <laughs> King legend. Although, if old Shelby doesn't come to the rescue in time, he will get killed. Dead. But Jesus, what a brave guy. And if you do save him, he takes back what he said earlier and ends up aiding you further in your investigation. Oh, the things you have to do for compliance. Hey, Scott? Asthma face. Number three. Up next, I guess I don't really need to explain this one. In this case, I will refer to Wind Waker because. Now, it is commonly known that 8 out of 10 Zelda characters are pretty weird, and this is no exception. I mean, just look at him! Now, obviously, he's high on the list for his usefulness in the game, and the prices, and the membership card system, and whatnot, but it's also the little things. He is always mobile, like a real merchant. He over-exaggerates everything, like a real merchant. He has a stupid voice, like a real merchant? I don't know, on my stay at home, I, I don't know any merchants, I don't I need to go outside, why should I? So yeah, he holds a very special place in my heart. It's a privilege to go and see him. It's just like, oh look at that, I've got a few rupees, let's splurge it all on him because he's so awesome. It's like you constantly want to be with him and his adorable music and, oh I love it! And in typical merchant style, the silly voice is almost imperative. So how silly is it? Oh, thank you! Bye! Probably the silliest in all mouse Number two. Dribben. I love this guy, I love this game, I love this franchise. But seriously, I do love me some Metal Gear Solid, easily in my top five franchises of all time. But I always wondered how could Kojima possibly include a merchant character in all the single man, no backup, balls to the wall operations, let alone a cohesive and simple buy and sell system. I didn't think it could be done. But then I remembered. This is Hideo freaking Kojima. Yeah, didn't you know? That's his real middle name. And he pulled it off flawlessly with Drebin. I shan't go into too much detail about his actual character as it may involve some spoiling, so if you haven't played this yet, or any other Metal Gear Solid game, get them all, and play them in chronological order. Trust me, it is this close to gaming Blissiamo. But beside that point, Drebin is one of the coolest mofos you could ever find in a Middle Eastern war zone. And he never really gets stressed out at any point either. He also works with anyone and everyone. He doesn't take sides, which makes him both trustworthy and shady. So that makes him number two because... I don't know. He also has one of the most goddamn easiest shop systems in modern gaming history. Uh, modern history. oh. But screw it! Basically, whenever you pick up weapons, ammo, and other items that you already have or can't carry, they will instantly be sold to him. Like, instantly. Let's time it. Snake. PM Boom! Not even a millisecond. Instantaneous. And during the certain events that occur throughout the story, his offers will alter, such as the 50% closing down sale towards the end of the game and so on. And not only the in-game events, but even the time and the day that you play the game can have an effect on the deals, such as playing it on a Sunday, for example, which is awesome. Not to mention, convenient as all hell, just a pause button away, 24 freaking 7. He also has a monkey that has no fur and drinks soda and smokes. What's not to like? Drebin's pissed. Number one. <laughs> the merchant. 
For such a minor character with occasional appearances in Resi 4, this guy stood out even more so than Ashley. Or Sadler. Or even freaking Leon. He left an everlasting impression on me even the first time you see him. Do I even need to explain how brilliant he is? Firstly, it's almost impossible to make a list of video game merchants without actually talking about someone named Merchant. Just running around those desolate wastelands, popping lead into the naughty Spaniards, the game can get pretty tense. And just seeing that blue flame envelops you in comfort, even though he actually never sells ammo. And this guy leaves so much intrigue with the player, and so many questions are left unanswered. Why is he in rural Spain? Where did he get his arsenal from? Why is he at so many places at once? Why isn't he infected? Where did he come from? Does he have a family? Why wasn't he in Resi 5? Why did Resi 5 destroy the point of Resi? Will Resi 6 be any good? How are you today? Should I just shut up now? Okay. Also, if you shoot this caring man, however, he will die and never come back. And bearing in mind this game is pretty tricky with him there, that is an unbearable thought. He is everything a merchant should be. Mysterious, trustworthy, unintrusive, shady, creepy, neither friend or foe, helpful, comforting, plus that voice. Welcome. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. What are you buying? Stranger, stranger. Now that's a weapon. Uh... That is why he is number one. I don't know, maybe I can't explain it, but for me, this beautiful man will always be my number one shopkeeper. Ever. Greetings and salutations, my beautiful people. Thanks very much for watching my first ever top 10 list, and I hope that I have to... Didgery fucking do! And I hope that I can make some more of these in the future. And also, to the 100 and something of you out there that actually like my stuff and watch regularly, I thank you a great deal. It would be great if you can like and share and comment and whatnot to like... Expand the fan base a little bit, if you know what I mean. Because I've got a lot of good ideas in my head, stranger. And here I am, shouting and ranting and raving, and the neighbours have just come back, so I'm gonna shut the hell up and go. So, thanks very much, and... Hi. Ay, 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 ay.